All right, All right, Hawaiians. Here we go. I got them. I got them put into the the, the jewelry cleaner. It's just a little bit of. Oops, sorry. Just a little bit of solvent in there. I'll close the lid, turn it on for a few minutes, and let it vibrate. Then it's agitated, get all the dirt and grime off. What's up, guys? We're back again. I just got done. Here's the bearings. I just took them out of my jewelry cleaner. Like I said, you can get those at uh, Walmart, Target, or on Amazon. They're like no more than 20 bucks, I think. I've seen him, Adam Drake had his own um, thing and he had a jewelry cleaner and it agitate the bearings. And where we works in Hawaii, it gets really dirty. So that's what we do, we take them all apart right here. And then we clean each one and then you can even put on a, um, on a, whatchamacallit? Hold on, let me put you down for a minute. I gotta get me a stand later. So you get them on here, and you can test them all by, you put them on here just, um, you don't need one of those bearing holder thing, bearing holders, tools, you just use your needle on those pliers, and test them all out, make sure they spin free before you dip them in the oil, okay, uh, you can try to use this, I got them off um, walmart.com, tri-flow loop, um, super lubricant, Adam uses this, and it's pretty, Adam Drake uses this, it's pretty good, I like it, it works, it works fine, but I use um, I found I found um, I found what you call it pretty good um, hydraulic oil like for heavy equipment. So I dip it in here. I throw all my bearings in here because hy hydraulic oil you cannot go wrong with that because if it can keep all the hydraulic pumps going for thousands of hours with no rebuild, you know, as long as there's no mechanical failure, seals going out or. Um, any type of contaminants in the, in the hydraulic oil, those bearings and those hydraulic pumps last forever. Last forever. I mean, we took. Uh, uh, I'm a heavy equipment mechanic by trade, so you know. Obviously, I see a lot, and yeah, they get some of them get like thousands of hours, and then the bearings are still good. Don't try to replace them, like when there's a mechanical failure. Mechanical failure. So I use that, and then. Now just make sure you blow them off. I didn't show you guys what I did when I took them out of the um, jewelry cleaner, out of the solvent. I blew them out. I blew all of them out. Let them dry for a couple minutes, and I put it in the hydraulic oil. We let that sit in there for a couple minutes. Pull them out, and we'll blow them all out, and then we'll. Yeah, and I'll show you. We will attach the. Uh, we will attach the dust seals again. Like I already cleaned all these off with um, my fiber towel and some simple green. I'll put them all back together and then we'll get rocky with the rest of the um, build back, installing everything back onto my Agama A319E. Alright, thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll move on to the next video. Did somebody say Big King? Alright, alright, guys. Here we go. We'll take this thing out now. See how everything looking. So like I said, I just I just grab all these out slowly. There's no big thing to it. Just try to take some oil out. Not even on video. I can't even get these damn things out. What the hell? What the heck? What the heck? Cause... So just shake them off as best you can and put it and let it sit on a rag on your shop towels that you have. Anxiety flashes, the urge to pull your hair out. It's called parent puberty and Life360 can help. Life360 is a complete family safety app built with features like data breach alerts, crash detection, and so much more. We're here to ease the awkwardness that comes with parent puberty so your family can start living Life360. Learn more at life360.com. Sorry, let me turn on the radio a little bit. There you go. Right, so I just pulled all these out, put them inside here, then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it. I show you guys what I do. I just just put a little, you know, just spray the bearing a little bit, get all the oil, excess oil off. Off all your bearings and then we'll reinstall the seals and then make sure it spins right. And then we should be we're done with this portion of the thing. Like I said, this part is tedious. You can save you can save a little bit of money doing this. You know, bearings ain't that expensive, but over a year you're spending what 65 bucks, two times maybe $120 if you if you always maintaining your bearings for race, you know, and like I said, not all of us sponsored or we get some help from the companies, but if you can save a little bit of money here and there, 
and this is a this is a, another way to just another way to do it. So I'll do some and then I'll shut off the video so you gotta listen to the air compressor go off and on every so often. So I just you know just grab it like this, make sure you got it secured. Get it like this and just spray it and I just spray it around into the trash can like this. Kind of see it but I just need the trash can so I don't get all over my all over my pit table. Take the next one, do the same thing. Okay, well, let me do this and we'll, we'll go back out with the video in a few minutes. Right here, guys, the... A Gamma Tree 19E is almost done. I gotta put my electronics. I changed my servo horn. I was having problem with my other servo horn, so I put a double clamping servo horn on top now. But this is it. It's almost completed. I just gotta put the stuff on the clamp on, screw down my electronics, and it's gonna be done. I'll show you when it's got tires on it before we go race on. This coming Sunday is our what you might call it um, is a club race, club race. So, but yeah, this is, took me a few hours. It took me like shoot, like five hours to put this thing back together. I had to clean some, change some stuff parts out. I put the new steering arms on top. Steering linkages right here. The steering linkages on top. I still gotta bleed my shocks because I get emotion shocks. So I gotta re-bleed those, but. It shouldn't take much, but I've got to get everything else on. Uh, here's all my, here's my, here's my nitro buggy right here. Nitro buggy set up, the engine's all right here. My Adam Drake and in my, when I, my Bullet 255, what I put in my Gamas. My Adam Drake is right here. Adam Drake. My second season with this engine. Still got good pinch. They, you know, I run four shoe clutch, two carbon. Two carbon, two aluminum on my two five five, my buggy. Here my again right here, my MBX eight, pretty much R. I changed, put the I put the MBX seven arms on top already. For it felt way better once I did that. I got to change my pivot, my blocks on that one. But what it held like down run good. But this car is unbelievable. We're like a champ. I have to change some stuff on the back, but the pills in the back. But got that fixed. We should be okay. This car runs ultimate. So we'll put them all together and we'll see you next time, guys. Okay, hopefully this helps. Hopefully the little things I did, you know, it helps everybody maintain their car a little bit better. Um, make good, well-maintained cars a fast-running car. Remember that. All right, well, till next time, guys. Aloha.